Yo, 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 happy Monday. I'm here to give you the philosophy how to expand, build upon your creativity, imagination, and innovation. Everything is created twice, first in the mind, then it becomes reality. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So you go out there, you go out there to do the work day after day. The confidence put yourself out there boldly, authentically, even though the success, the creation has not arrived, has not manifested just yet. But you know that the richest place on earth, the richest real estate on earth, is the graveyard or dreams and goals and everything else including your authentic self because um, die along with you because you did not have the courage the boldness to make it happen but that's all it's going to change because you have this go getter energy to make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen this is the method the philosophy known as create like a god made because you are made in the image of God. This is your man's Jaron W. Mitchell, Jaron Winning Mitchell. And I want to talk about today. It has on my mind. There's another topic we're probably going to talk about tomorrow. Is that um, I remember I was having a conversation with my pops and my little brother. And my dad said he's a jack of, jack of all trades, master of none. And I want to talk about this. Is today you, you want to be, I say, I kind of go against that with jack of all trades, master of none. I say more with going, being a master of your craft, okay? Let, let, because here's the reason why. The mind, the human mind can only focus on one thing at a time, okay? So you got to work on your strengths, build up your strength, and you put yourself, maneuver yourself in a position where you're able to work on your weaknesses or have somebody else work on those weaknesses that you are good at. So a great example I would say would be sports, you know, even an artist, even as an artist as well. Um, great example is as a as a basketball player, you got to think of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, all these great athletes in basketball. I used to play basketball, by the way. You know, Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. And he just started like, you know, look where he's at now today. One of the greatest players who ever played the game. He mastered the craft of basketball. Okay, so, but here's the thing. He ended up. I don't know, I mean, this is just me just saying this, but I'm quite sure he ended up working on his dribbling skills, working on these certain skills to add to his arsenal two bags. And when that way, when he needs to pull the, pull it out, he can do that. Same thing as an artist. Say, for instance, you're an artist, which um, as an artist, if you guys don't know, they look at portfolio studios, gaming studios, all these other places, look at portfolio. You see, they work. They see the work, the type of work that you could do and see if you can actually... You know, they hire you and see if you can actually get it and your portfolio works with their type of art style or whatever it, their, their, whatever it is that they're going for. And the thing about it is one artist, one people can say, oh, man, you need to work on hands. OK, so this artist is very good at drawing the bodies, but horrible general hands and feet. So guess what he needs to do? He needs to spend a couple months. He or she needs to spend a couple months. Start rolling in hands. Start practicing gestures on hands. Start practicing gestures on feet and, and, and get it down so that way. They're able to have that skill, to build upon that skill on top of their other skills that they're producing. So it's the same thing with basketball, the same thing what you're doing now. You know, if you're being a mastery of, um, you could say, an artist, which if you're an artist, I would say you're also an entrepreneur, okay? You're also an entrepreneur. You are selling your art. You make it, you're selling your art to make a profit, to make a living out, uh, living out of drawing. You are an entrepreneur. And I think many of the, sell, uh, many of the artists work on more of the creative part but they don't work on the sales the closing negotiation part and that's when i've been taking the time over the years to learn more of the entrepreneur stuff and start digging in into the to the, the art stuff because shoot if you can make great art but if you if you, you you get you doing great art and not really getting paid for work or you lowballing yourself you know you're gonna be hard, hard to make a living learn business philosophies and stuff but add those skills. Hire somebody else with those skills as an entrepreneur will do or certain business people will do. And once you get into a certain position, you go and move up. So jack of all trades, master of none. I'd rather be a master of my own craft. I might be a master of, of what I'm doing. man. Person right here. I might be a master of what I am doing. You know, what I want to do. Not a jack of all trades where I'm having my energy out of all these different spots. Where I'm not focusing on my energy at one spot where, okay, um, like 90 days, take three months or whatever. Okay, I'm going to focus on this for nine, for, 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 for nine, um, not nine months, well, you say nine months, three months and hammer this in and, and don't focus on anything else. Just 
this is the focus. Or, well, you got other things you can take care of, but focus on this. Whatever it is that you, if you have a business, and put nine, ten months, year, two years in to get this so it can be profitable. You know, so you know, start hiring, start learning business. So for that, I say be a master of your own craft. Don't be a jack of all trades, master of none. Because if you're a jack of all trades, master of none, you're not really truly good at what you're doing, and you're not going to your fullest potential with create like a god got some sirens are over here with create like a god the whole philosophy is going through your 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 potential going to going to reach your fullest potential which i think our potential is limitless we don't know what how much we have in the tank we don't know you know we don't know a lot of people waste their talents a lot of people waste their life away you know don't be the one type of people that waste their life away look at the five regrets of people dying you know i could make a whole bunch of freaking money but what would that impact lead? I'm looking to do impact. I'm looking what 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 can I do to impact people's lives or whatever I'm speaking. That way it can spark the other minds and it can inspire them to go out and act and do what they need to do. I mean, do what they need to do for their own life to, to, to put a ding in the universe. You know, so that's what I wanted to say about this with Jack of all trades, master of none. You're not truly a master of something. You're not truly putting in your fullest potential in in focusing on all this other stuff what you uh, all these other things what you do is if you're great at art you know say for instance you know you do, you do a 2d illustrator you know or you're an illustrator you focus on illustration illustration you become a master at that crap and it's like okay let me add on something else okay you, you, let me add on something else let me do zbrush or something for instance you know so just start adding 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 and building upon your skills you know 10 they got the 10,000 hour mark which is you know, you come you ten, put 10,000 hours of something, uh, which um, you, you're basically a master of. You become a master of that craft. So that's what I wanted to talk about. And the whole purpose, like I said, create like a God philosophy is pulling you, making, reaching your fullest potential, going out for your fullest potential, emptying the tank. Okay. They're, they're, we got one life. We got this life to live. And we need to live it. You know, focus on one thing at a time. And whatever the mind focus on, create. So if you focus on the negative stuff, you're gonna you're gonna create more negativity. If you focus on the positive stuff, you're gonna focus on more. And the more positive stuff is gonna come. We are what we think about. Remember that all that, y'all. And then again, not a motivational speaker. You know, I'm just giving y'all the philosophy of creation, uh, uh, of the whole creation process with the first in the mind, then becomes a reality. First and things becomes in reality. First it became a thought. Then you thought about them thoughts over and over it becomes your dominating thought of your mind. Then actually it manifests and it becomes reality and becomes who you are as your character or whatever it is that you're doing out of your habits. You know, it's, it's more into getting deep into it. But hey, man, like I've been building myself over the years, my own personal development journey and, and working on my own entrepreneurship, focusing on this. And, and I'm going to talk about I'm probably I'm going to talk about a little later on about um, burning your boats. And I want to talk. What is you doing, man? The reason why I want to talk about that. Is because um, I remember I was talking to my little brother, and my little, no no shame to my little brother. I love my little brother. I want him to reach his best, fullest potential. But he has his own little stuff going on, which you know it's cool. You know I, I can't I can't just help anybody like that unless, as long as they want to be helped or, or reach their fullest potential. I don't know what he's doing? Just sitting in the middle of it. But um, <laughs> so we talk about that. He thought burning your boats meaning as like. You're burning bridges. You're 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 basically fucking everybody else to get to the higher up. And he said he don't want to be a Donald Trump. He wants to build relationships, which you know, I got my own little thoughts on Donald Trump. You know, um, a lot of people may not have an opinion about it, but dude was a smart businessman. Honestly, he was separated from his LLC, um, separated from himself, where he was able to keep all his assets. You just gotta know the game, man. See, work on your game, but you gotta know the game. And with that, it's just, he built relationships. It's just, shoot, I mean, not everyone's going to like you. You're going to do some things, not everyone's going to like you. People's going to hate you. People want to see you su not succeed. People want to stop you from succeeding. You know, the, the resistance, it, you're gonna, it's going to come to that point. Um, but it's not necessary that. This is the whole point of thinking go rich, burning the boats, leaving no other option but that one option, but that one, you know. My family, you could probably talk to some of my family members. They say, hey, Jared could be tunnel vision. I am tunnel vision. When I want, I could be tunnel vision. Sometimes there's a lot of stuff. It's like, ooh, I want to do this. But 
you know, I got I, I could be for t- tunnel vision. Once I focus and lock in what I uh, what I I like to have, I'm gonna go out and get it, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna lock into it until I make it reality. Okay, so it took me a while for these. You made a lot of mistakes, a lot of failures along the way. Got some wins, but that's what I wanted to talk about today. But a little maybe tomorrow or to sometime tonight, I will be talking about burning your boats, leaving no other option, which is the winning type of mindset. I believe which um, that was from that thinking grow rich, but I remember there's something with that in um in, in the Tim Grover's book Winning the um unforgivable race of greatness. I believe it was um winning wants all of you, not some of you, or was it um there is no balance? I don't remember which one it is, but it's one of those. So that's what I wanted to talk about. You know, become a master of your craft, and once you become a master, start adding everything else to your tool bag of arsenals. Where you like when well, you can pull it out, you can go ahead and pull it out, and, and boom, you you. You're building more into your craft and you're becoming a master. And you, 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 instead of folk trying to do a whole bunch of things all at once, you're focusing on one thing at a time. You're building that, mastering that, and building another top of that craft. Just like a basketball player, dribbling, you know, doing crossovers, dribbling, shooting. Same thing with shooting. Master craft is shooting. You hit them buckets, you know, <laughs> hit them buckets and everything. And that's what Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant, LeBron, Jan- LeBron James, and many of the other great, amazing basketball players that's in the game of basketball. So I want to go ahead and end this. I just want that was on my mind. I'm gonna do the other one, burning your, um, burning your boats, leave no other option but that one option. Yeah, it's a possibility of failure. I remember my brother asked me, my little brother asked me, "What if if you fail?" Okay, if I fail, then shit. I mean, it, it, it's just a learning lesson. It's a stepping stone. It made me better. It made me into a better person. It, it made me acknowledge, okay, I need uh, there's some little tweaking I need to do to order to hit that target. So anyways, po folks, it's not where we at, it's where we come from. Always, always create like a God and go out and make go out and make things happen and go out and strive for greatness because nothing else pays. Peace out.